it's Chris Leverdine and today I want to share with you how to crochet a simple bucket hat. For this project I'm using a size 4 yarn that I got from Amazon and if you want to get the same exact yarn that I'm using I will link it in the description box below via my Amazon affiliate links. I'm also using a size 5 millimeter hook and I'll also link the hook I'm using in the description box down below as well. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be a simple bucket hat. So again, no like funky colors and stuff. Although I am really excited to uh, make some more fun bucket hats with fun colors and designs and stuff. But of course, we need this beginner friendly version first and then we could get into like the crazier styles. So you're gonna grab your yarn. You're going to um, create a slip knot. And if you are a complete beginner to crochet in general, I do have a crochet for beginners video that I will link in the description box below. You can go ahead and practice with that. Learn how to make a slip knot, how to uh, chain, how to make a single crochet and all that stuff. And then you could come back to this tutorial. So after you've made your slip knot, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to Go into the very first chain that you created and you're going to create a single crochet. So you're going to yarn over, go through the stitch, then yarn over and go through the last two loops on the hook. And you're going to be left with a little ball like this. So from here, we're going to kind of find the center of this little ball right here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just find anywhere where you could make some more stitches. And you're going to now make a total of five single crochets in that one opening. So one, two, three, four, and five all in that opening. And you're left with a little circle like this. So from here, you're going to actually go into that first single crochet that you made and you're going to slip stitch. So again, you're going to go into that first stitch that you made, you're going to yarn over, you're going to go through the stitch, and then you're going to go through the loop left on your hook. And now you have the center of the top of your bucket hat. So from here, we're actually just going to build on top of it and just keep going around and around and around and around until we are happy with the size of the top of our bucket hat. So from here you're going to go into the single crochets that you made in the previous row, except every other stitch you're going to make two single crochets inside of that one stitch. So I'm going to go into the same stitch right here and make another single crochet inside of that same stitch. And then for the next stitch, I'm just going to make one single crochet inside of the stitch. And then for the next one, I'm going to make two single crochets inside of that one stitch. And then for the next stitch, I'm going to only make one. And then I'm back at the end of the row. And you're just going to continue with that pattern and see that the circle is going to continue growing and growing. That's why we need to add those two single crochets inside of one stitch every so often. That way the circle will grow. Otherwise it's going to start curving inward and we don't want that. We want it to get bigger and bigger. But yeah, you're just going to continue going around and around with this circle until it is large enough to cover the top of your head. So this is what the project looks like after a couple of rows. Again, all I've been doing is alternating, making one single crochet and then in the next stitch I make two single crochets and then the next stitch I make one single crochet and then the next one I make two single crochets, so on and so forth. And uh, usually that makes the circle nice and even, but again, if you somehow fall into the issue where your circle is either curving in like this, so if it curves in, then that means that you're not making enough 
stitches per row. You can fix that by adding more stitches per row. So instead of alternating, making one single crochet in a stitch and then making two single crochets in a stitch and then one single crochet, you could actually make two stitches in a row with two single crochets and then a regular one and then two stitches in a row and then one single crochet and then two single crochets and then again two single crochets and then the one you know just to add that extra little bit that you may need to keep it from curving in now if you run against the issue where you actually have your project waving like this that means that you're making too many stitches uh, in a short period of time and the circle can't keep up <laughs> it's not going to stay flat it's going to like kind of ruffle and you don't want that so that again means that you're making too many so instead you do the opposite so instead of alternating one and then two and then one and then two you're going to maybe do two single ones and then a double and then two single and then in the third one you make two in that one or you could even just make the entire row with just one single crochet per stitch so again that's pretty much how I solve those issues but for me uh, it works just the alternating so one single crochet and then two single crochets in one stitch and then one single crochet in a stitch and then two single crochets in a stitch and that's what makes my project look like this but again if you run into those issues that's how you solve them and now I'm just going to continue with my pattern until the circle is the size that I want which is the same size as the top of my head. <laughs> okay, so I made a few more rows after that, and this is what my finished product looks like. So it is the size of the top of my head, and I would suggest that you, again, just place on top of your head and make sure that it's the same size as your head, and then we can move on to the next step. But if you want to double check to make sure that you made the right size, you could grab a bucket hat that you may already have, and place the project right here where the circle part of your bucket hat is and if it's the same size then you're good to go and again that's only if you already have a bucket hat because maybe you're making this bucket hat because you don't have any bucket hats so just measure it by placing it on the top of your head and making sure that it covers your head so from here we're going to essentially make this portion of the bucket hat like right here kind of like the body and then we're going to make the brim afterwards so right now we made the top now we're going to make the body and then we're going to make the brim so to make the body you need it to go downward right because right now we made this top portion and now we're going to make this portion but how are we going to make it go down well we are going to only go into the back portion of the stitch here so normally you would go into the stitch from the front right here right well, we're actually going to go in through the back portion right here. So, in a single crochet, there's these little V's that are made, right? And normally, again, you go right through the middle, which essentially go through both of them, right? Well, now we're going to just go through the one back one. So, from here, we're just going to make one single crochet per stitch, but only going through the back loop of every single stitch we come across for this first row and that is what's going to make the project go downward instead of going straight like if we we're going to build on top of it we're now going to go this way so we're going to direct our crochet downward that's why we're only going into the bottom stitch right here so again, you're just making single crochets all along the project just in the back stitch or back portion of every stitch. So yeah, just identify that V of the single crochet and then go into this back portion only and create another single crochet on top of that. So right here, go into the back portion and single crochet, only the back and single crochet only the back 
and cigar crochet and you may not really see a difference uh, during this first row but as we keep going you'll definitely see that the project is forming into somewhat of a bucket hat which is great so again that's all you have to do for this row just keep going into the back portion of every stitch and then once you're done with the row we could just continue on with a normal single crochet since we've already directed the project downward but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this row and meet back with you once I'm done. Okay, so I just completed the row. So just one row of uh, doing single crochets in the back portion of the previous row's single crochet automatically curved the project like this. Which again is fantastic because that is just one step closer to this shape, which is exactly what we need. So right now we're about right here in the project and we need to build this portion, which is again very easy because it's just more single crochets. So from here, you're just going to continue making single crochets, but this time you're going to go into the stitch normally. So from here, you're just going to go through the front again as you normally would any other uh, single crochet. So you're just going to continue making rows and rows of single crochet this way until you are satisfied with the length of your bucket hat. So just try it on, put it on your head, and once you're happy with the length of it, then we can move on to working on the brim. But again, right now we are working on this portion of the bucket hat. And all you need to do is continue making rows and rows of single crochet. So after a few rows of single crochet, your project should look something like this. Yes, it automatically kind of makes this bowl shape without me doing anything extra. The only thing that made it so that it could be this shape was the fact that we made that one row where we only went into the back stitch or back part of the stitch. And yeah, it pretty much made this shape which is exactly what we want for the hat so it's going to be again the top of the hat and then this is going to be the body of the hat and then after we're done with the body we are going to make the brim so let's go ahead and see how far along we have left um i'm probably like a third of the way there so yeah one probably two three yep a third of the way there and again all i'm doing is making one single crochet per stitch all along the project and uh, I have not run into any issues, but again, if you run into the issue where either the uh, project is starting to fan out like this, that means that you're making too many uh, stitches per row, which will be odd since you are only making the same amount of stitches that it already has, but for some reason, sometimes it happens to people, I get it in the comments. So if it does start flaring out like this, um, we don't want that yet. So you want to actually start skipping a stitch every so often. So maybe skip a couple of stitches or just randomly. That way it could um, start bringing everything back in together. And again, that's only if your project starts flaring out like this. Or if it starts curving in, we don't want that either. That again means that you're making too few stitches per row. So you need to add more. So every so often, just make two single crochets per uh, stitch again only if you run into either of those situations but again if you are just making one stitch per row you should be fine um, but that's how you resolve those issues if you come across them but alrighty then I'm just going to continue making my rows and rows of single crochet until I am happy with the size of this portion of the project and you will know when you are done with this portion of the project once you try on the project and you're happy with the length of it again totally up to you based on your size and preference we all have different head shapes <laughs> and preferences if you want it longer or shorter totally up to you i really like the way that this bucket hat fits me so i'm just going to go off of this bucket hat um, but if, again, you don't have a bucket hat, you could just go off of, again, how it fits you. So, yeah, I will meet you once I am ready to show you the next step. Okay, so I have officially made it to the point where this is the same size as my hat right here. And when I try it on, it looks something like this, which 
I think it's actually kind of adorable. <laughs> I think there's hats that are shaped like this. I just don't know what they're called. Um, but I just think it's cute. But right now we are making a bucket hat. So we need to actually add a brim to it. But again, this is what it should look like if you try it on um, as it is right now. But anywho, so now that you're at this point and you're happy with the length of the body of the hat, we're going to make the brim now. And for this, we're actually going to do the same but the opposite thing we did at the top here to separate the very top from the body. Um, instead of going down, we're going to want it to go upwards. So similar to what we did before, we're only going to go into one portion of the a single crochet however instead of going into the bottom we're going to go into the top portion so again look for that little V and then go into the top portion of the V and make a single crochet so with each stitch you're going to go into the top portion only and then make a single crochet the top portion only make a single crochet the top portion only make a single crochet top single crochet top, single crochet, top, and single crochet. And what that's going to do is that's going to make the project go upward, therefore uh, differentiating the brim from the body of the hat, which is exactly what we want. So we're just going to continue throughout the rest of the row by going through only that top portion of the stitch and then creating a single crochet from there. Again, just one single crochet per stitch, making it nice and easy. So again, I'm making sure that I look at the little V of the stitch, but only go into this top portion, then make a single crochet, go into the top portion, make a single crochet all along the row until um, I finish it. And then from there, we're just going to make some regular single crochets again. But let me go ahead and finish this row first. So now that I finished my one row of only going into the front portion of the stitch, this is what it looks like. You can see that it's starting to curve a little bit upwards, which is exactly what we want for the brim. And from here on in, you're just going to now make rows and rows of single crochet. So this time around, we actually want the project to flare out. So we're going to do something similar to what we did for the circle for it to get bigger and bigger. We are going to make two single crochets inside of one stitch every so often. So not every other uh, stitch because I think that that would be too much and your brim would be kind of wrinkly. Um, so probably every four single crochets make one stitch that has two single crochets inside of it and then four single crochets in a row and then on that fifth one you're going to make two single crochets inside of one stitch that way it could grow slowly but surely and flare out a little bit so you want the brim to flare out and be a little bit wider than the rest of the project whereas here we want it to be nice and straight since it's just the body and it's going to wrap around your head this one's going to be flared out around your head so you want it to be bigger and that's why we're going to be adding those extra stitches every so often again if you run into those same issues where it's either curving or it is um flaring too much or ruffling I already told you how you could fix those problems, but yeah, it's pretty much just kind of like a trial and error thing. So um, just figure out which works best for you and the project should again just be flaring out ever so slightly like so. If you look at it at this angle, you can see that it's slightly flaring out a little bit and as we continue on, it's going to look more and more uh, circular and that's exactly what we want for the hat. So now I am at the end of my project here. I am running out of yarn, but if you are not running out of yarn, but you do want to end your project, you just need to cut the yarn from the yarn ball and then bring the excess yarn through the very last loop of your project, then give it a tug. And I like to tuck in the excess as well. And then you could also cut it if you do not want 
it sticking out at all. <laughs> but yeah, once you finish the brim of your hat, then you are completely done with your bucket hat. And you can now wear it and rock it and style it however you want to. I think that this project is very simple to do and I'm really excited now that we have the beginner friendly version here on my channel to now dive into some more uh, creative patterns and designs for bucket hats. So yeah, I'm really excited for those. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, found it helpful. And if you did, please get a big thumbs up before you go. And don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you have not already. So I can see you next time. Bye. And have a magical day. These days, under the sun together. These days, let's make them last forever. These days, these days, let's hope they last forever.